you know, occasionally something just comes to me and I get a chuckle out of it. And I go on the internet and I search to see if anybody else has had this idea. And when I don't find anything, then I get a really big chuckle. Especially when it's using existing technology and it's very low tech. Especially to some of these eggheads like are in Silicon Valley. You know, the government, I mean, government really enjoys putting new technology to use against its citizens. But the government doesn't really realize that it's a double edged sword. When they use this technology, you know, the little laptops in their car to call in your. Uh, tags and all like that, you know, the mobile digital dispatch systems, uh, they're basically little Wi-Fi's in each of the cars. Now, granted, hacking them is a pain in the butt. I mean, it probably could be done by somebody better than me, but why bother when it's more interesting just to know that they're there? You know, and any ham would know that 2.4 gigahertz, 5.8 gigahertz, you know, where the, the spectrum is that they're using these digital data systems is pretty high up. So the antennas can be little bitty. And the radar detector people know this too, you know, because your radar detector antenna is just tiny. How hard would it be for someone to make a little rotating directional antenna? that picks up those uh, police car data systems. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, oh, here's an app for my phone. Yep, there's a police car within range. And some people say, well, the police could be probably using the same frequency as all the uh, other units, you know, 802.11, which is 2.4 gigahertz. And they just got their own private node. Well, there's a thing called Net Stumbler. You can get that app. And if your police department's doing that, when you go by their car, you get their network ID. And you save their network ID. So whenever that patrol car's around you, oh, a warning. So and so network is in range. <laughs> Don't you love it when some old stupid fat hillbilly comes up with some way to go back at you, okay? You invented something, you're going to use it against your own people, and now your people have learned to use the same technology against you. We'll get you back. So now, while you're on your little digital thing, Mr. Police Man, everybody will know you're around. So, they'll probably get rid of that. They'll probably go move to another frequency, which doesn't matter. It'll be just like the radar detector wars. You know, they build a radar detector. Same people that build the radar detectors build the radar detectors. I mean, they build the radars, they build the radar detector. So, they build a new frequency. So, then they come out with a new frequency radar detector. So, they keep selling the government these different radars, and they keep building new detectors. See, it's it's just it's it's utter stupidity, and uh, pretty soon they'll start the same thing. Once somebody, some egghead, learns how, yeah, he'll write a mathematical program to tell whether the network is mobile, and that'll it'll show up on your screen on your car, say your smartphone, a mobile network nearing your location, you know, and a, and the signal strength meter will come up there and it'll be like a little radar thing going. Dee, dee, dee. Uh, I wish I had the money to develop some of these ideas I come up with. I don't. So I make YouTube videos. And then I drive all the eggheads at the NSA nuts. Oh, oh, we don't want nobody. Uh, that's dangerous. And some lawmaker will get hold of it and say, uh, network detectors are illegal. Well, you know what? So what? Every time the government makes something to snoop, they shoot themselves in the foot because 
Well, any ham radio operator would know that you're, you're transmitting. It's just a radio frequency transmitter on a different frequency. So not only can you receive it, it may be encrypted so you can't understand it, but if you can receive it, you'll know it's there. That's the principle the military uses, those anti, those harm missiles, anti-radiation missiles. They shoot at radar installations. Same technology. Adapt it for police cars. I love it when I when Uncle Sam does something and then you know it's like I'm just sitting there. I don't know what it was. I was watching a TV show where they were using a patrol car thing. I said, you know what? Those things use a network and they're wireless. If they're network and they're wireless, they can be detected because they're emitting radiation. So, the little old coon, raccoon boy, will come out here and tell the whole world. Oh, man, sometimes I just love it when, when I have things like this come to my mind. Oh, by the way, I was going to make a, you know, I started to make a video on uh, intelligence gathering, too, about cheap scanners. I mean, you don't always have to transmit. And if you can get several cheap scanners, you can scan frequencies uh, just where they're talking. And if you don't, if you make a little tiny antenna that only receives when they're real close, and you uh, put it on the input frequency, see, patrol cars hit repeaters, and there's an input and output frequency on a repeater. So if you switch your scanner to their input frequency and use almost no antenna and set it on your dash, when it goes off, you'll know a police car is very, very, very close. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd throw that in there just as a bonus, some bonus. You know, sometimes, sometimes I just kill myself. And I know the NSA is watching this, and the FBI, and they're, they're probably turning over in their chairs right now. They're probably falling out of their chairs laughing. Because look what some dingbat sitting in, you know, see the thing about it is they, well, not all of they, but some of them have suggested that I help them out. But every time they do, they suggest that, well, my loyalty has to be totally toward the government. And I tell them, well, the government is the people. And then they don't talk to me no more. Go figure. 